Well, he won't want to see is them um, uh, breaking into a little canter. That uh, very much part of the art of showing. Working together, pulling together as the team. And David Merlin uh, comes back into line. Give him a round of applause. Stand show complete. So now the man here. from uh, the Donhead stud, so the, next the man one who has done so much, former All England ploughing champion, the man who drives for the famous Holland Woodhouse, the Badger Brewery, and he drives his Suffolk. Suffolk still very much on the at-risk register from the Rare Breed uh, Survival Trust. The breed that uh, very much came into formation in the uh, 1600s, still very much the preservation of uh, the Suffolk horse. This man uh, done a huge amount, huge amount for the world of the Suffolk Punch. The uh, Suffolk England Punches here. Through the uh, Fenland, Cambridgeshire, Suffolk, Norfolk and the whole of the East Anglian breed. Cormorix in the uh, mains, very much signifying their agricultural heritage. They are the workhorse of East Anglia. Slightly smaller in stature. Deep bones, deep cannon bones. Hind quarters and the shoulders. To work and plough all day long. And they would have worked and ploughed all day long. They would have brought the produce in. They would have taken the produce to market. And they're very much the East Anglian breed. Half term with the the corner they go. dogs here, school children, etc. As we said earlier, still very much the rare breeds at risk register. More seriously than at risk. People like Randy Hitchcock. Rare breeds, etc. People and like threat, uh, Lady Clara, Grafton, Paul Bannum, up in Suffolk, this man from Dorset, who has done so much to preserve and protect the great breed that is the pride of East Anglia. It's a wonderful sight to see his Don Head at Suffolk pull together. It really is. Give Randy a round of applause. Randy Hiscox, back in the line. And now, the Shire Horse. There we are, Shire Horse. The noble breed, England's great horse. The Bath and West. Driven by uh, Harley Whittle, the horseman of Eager to go there. and on they go. The real power, 17.3 to 18.3, ton, ton in each. And Woolworth Brewery still delivering uh, beer via the wonderful method of using heavy horses, shower horses in the streets of Devizes in Wiltshire. The great horse, the Shire horse, eat up to three, four bales a hair a day. Huge amount of hard feed as well. Three to the four bales a hair a day. They would have gone out and they were the real workhorse. But above all, they were the war horse, taking their history war all the way back to uh, 1066 to William the Conqueror and all the way through. All the way up, in fact, to the English Civil War. 1640, when uh, the lighter cavalry horses of the continent Back to came into being. But they were the great destroyer, they were the great destroyers, and uh, the workhorses. The tremendous work of the Shire Horse Society. Now the British breeding lines are known all around the world. In every continent around the world, England's a great Shire Horse. The Woolworth Brewery Shires. Great success in this figuring. And on they go. It is mag majestic to see these, uh, all these breeds of heavy horses pulled together. The work that the Shire Horse Society does is uh, unparalleled, second to none, in promoting their breed through. Martin just uh, puts his right foot down on the brake as they come down the hill, 
with the chains tight, and it does take some driving to drive in this big ring here at the Royal Bath and West. Wants to see them on the bridle, really fitting. You know, as you see in the cities and the towns, up and down the length and breadth of the countryside, of the country, there are, uh, there are now flower baskets, flower basins. But these uh, traditionally were the water buckets and the breweries. So very important to get the beer to the All manner of uses. Trust. Well, they had their own because they didn't trust the general water. Years ago. And that is a wonderful drive. Well done yeah. to Martin Whittle. You're not coming up this way. So, Good of you Davis, there. the man, the senior judge of the Shah Horse Society, senior judge in the world of heavy horses. Ten past one here. Walton, uh, his generosity for bringing the Shah Horses here to the Royal Bath and West, Graham Walton Publishing. So now he's going to have a look at them. I'm sure he'll probably push them out one more time, and then we'll pull them in. And make his decision on the winner here. An overcast Bath and West 2017. Got the heavy horses.